Hi, my name is Roger and my channel is about being a musician and all things surrounding a musician. I have just done some presets, some logic presets, just for you. So if you want to have a good starting point to tweak from, or if you just want to have good sounding presets when you're writing a song, so that the song sounds a little bit more professional from the beginning, and you want to go from this... This with just a push of a button. The only thing I know is that I know enough at all. So if you want to check them out, just go to my webpage, the link is down below. And if you sign up to the newsletter on that webpage, you will get my sampled drums for free. When I did my presets, I started to realize that there's a lot of Logic plugins I really like. And these are my top five Logic plugins, and they are not what you think. So I have a session up. It's the Roger That Song of 2021, of course. Uh, it sounds a bit like this. And so on. And let me tell you the first plugin. Let's open the mixer. Uh, and we will go to the bass. Where do we have the bass? Here it is. And on the bass sub, I have a compressor. Because the compressor is really good. Not if you want like a character of an analog compressor with the transformers or tubes or anything. But if you only want a sound to be more compressed, this compressor actually works pretty good. I have shows on the classic VCA ha here. The differences between these settings are not huge. Just try. Four dBs of compression at the most. But the cool thing is we will listen. I will turn this off and we will listen to the bass drum and the bass together. Do you hear that they are sort of struggling in the same area? But if I put a compressor on the bass sub here, with the side chain from the kick in, so the compressor on the bass only compresses when the kick drum hits. It sounds like this. It only compresses a few dBs just when the kick drum hits. Play with the attack and the release and just try this sidechain thing. The Logic Compressor is actually really, really good at sidechaining. And the next plugin is the Overdrive. And I'm not going to use it as an overdrive. Well, I am because it's an overdrive. But I'm not going to use it to add a lot of distortion. I'm going to use it on the percussion. In this case, the tambourine. And the tambourine by itself sounds like this. And when we put the overdrive on, it's not much overdrive. You have to adjust the output also because this level compensation doesn't work. So you have to put the drive, how much drive you want, and then adjust the output so it's sort of the same before and after. I use this as a fattener and a slight compressor on things like percussion or a snare drum or maybe a bass. So the overdrive is my second favorite plugin. The third of my favorite plugin is a reverb and that's the Space Designer. The Space Designer is really versatile. We will listen to the strings. Without the reverb, Not fun at all. And this space designer, I just chose string reverb 2.4 second and didn't even change it, but that's easy to do. So if we want it 
bigger, you can go to the size and raise it. Try not to raise or lower the size too much because that actually lowers the quality of the reverb. But we can do a little bit. Now it's at 140% out of 1000. So a little bit we can do. And it's at 3.3 seconds now. longer we do it shorter say that we like that we just say that we like that but we don't want the low end or the high end to go into our mix and cloud up anything else so we can go to the output EQ and go and do a low pass low pass filter and a high pass filter Maybe something like this. And then we can afford a little more reverb. Something like that. When you mess around with it and tweaking it, the Space Designer is really good. And I like it now even more because I have the Nevo reverbs. I made a video about that and the link is the link is at the end and in the description. And the next plugin is actually the pedal board. And I have the pedal board on Rhodes here. Without the pedal board, it sounds like this. And with it. The pedal board is actually pretty cool. I just dragged the out to funk in and tweaked it a little bit and uh, it's pretty it's nice probably the pedal board is meant for guitar I never I rarely use it on guitar I use it on other stuff like keyboards or after a reverb for example to make the reverb quirky and weird and cool sounding so play around with the pedal board it's really fun and the last of my top five plugins is the tape delay. There you can hear it on a guitar. And without the tape delay, really dry and boring, right? The tape delay gives that soft delay so that it's like you are having a wall behind you or a wall behind the amplifier to give it some space. It's rather subtle, but without it, it doesn't sound exciting. That was my Logic Top 5 Plugins. We all have great plugins in our door. Maybe not all are great, but some will be great. So what are your top five plugins in your door? Do you have Logic and have different top five than I do? Please tell me. If you have other doors, tell me anyway, because I like to learn. I have nearly stopped buying plugins. I say nearly because I also fall in the trap of buying more plugins that I don't use. But one reason is, of course, that my list of plugins is just a tiny little bit shorter than the Nile. I have bought so many plugins and I use maybe 10% of them. What I should have done from the beginning is to figure out what plugins I want to use, what plugins that I have that I think is good, learn those plugins inside and out so I know how to use them, and then add plugins to complement the ones I already have. For example, in the Logic folder there's no tape simulator, maybe I should add a tape simulator. Also maybe some transformer based uh, plugins like vintage EQs, vintage compressors. But if I added those, maybe I would be fine with just a few Logic plugins and a few extra plugins. And I wouldn't have spent so much money on plugins I never use. A disclaimer is that buying a new plugin can actually inspire you to make more music. In that case, it's money well spent. I hope you found that interesting and thank you for watching. The Swedish word of today is five and five in Swedish is fem. Fem. Until next time, roger that.